Question 1. What are the components of VR Ray Appliance? Answer. Below is the list of components of VR Ray Appliance. VIDM, Reverse Proxy, VR Ray Services, V Realize Orchestrator, Post Grid Database. Question 2. Explain difference between IAR's web service and IAR's manager service. Answer. IAR's web servers are Microsoft Windows servers that host model manager services for vRealize automation. They provide access to the MSSQL database associated with vRealize automation for the rest of the vRealize automation services. The IAAS manager servers helps in providing the overall coordination of events within vRealize automation. Question 3. What are automation agents and what are they used for? Answer. Automation agent is a proxy service to run workflows executed by the DEM workers against virtual endpoints such as vSphere. These agents can be installed on the IAAS server, or they can be installed on a separate server. Question 4. What are service catalogs? Answer. Published blueprints are service catalogs. You can publish catalog items and add them to service categories. Catalogs can be of type IAAS catalogs like provisioning VM slash storage or other infra resources or it can be XAAS such as password reset service picked up from the VRO workflows. Question 5. What is the importance of business groups and how are these used? Answer. You use business groups along with reservation which is percentage of compute resources reserved from the endpoint say CPU, RAM and data store from a vSphere cluster. Business groups are also used with entitlements because if a user is not part of a business group, you cannot entitle him to deploy a blueprint via service catalog. Question 6. What is fabric and endpoints? Answer. Infrastructure endpoints form the core of the fabric. From the fabric, you get resources. Endpoints examples are vSphere, Hyper-V slash SCVMM, AWS Cloud Endpoint, vCloud Director, Storage Endpoints such as NetApp, and IPAM Endpoints for providing IPS etc. A question 7. What is a cloud client and its use? Answer. It is a CLI utility based on Java runtime environment used to configure each single tenant instance of vRealize automation. It can be installed on any server specifically used for scripting work such as a server dedicated for PowerShell script. Cloud client uses certain commandlets that require specific roles in vRealize automation and for some commandlets specific credentials for successful execution. You can use with PowerShell and vRealize automation APIs. Cloud Client is used for importing slash exporting VRA blueprints. You can do the same things as you can do via GUI using Cloud Client. Question 8. What is Network Profile? Answer. Network profiles provide virtual machines with information such as IP address, net mask, gateway, DNS, DNS suffix etc. You can associate network profile via reservation, or while creating the blueprint on canvas. You can use it via network component. Question 9. Does VRA use SSO of vSphere for single sign-on? Answer. No, VRA7 and above architecture uses its own SSO and not a vSphere anymore for single sign-on. Question 10. What is XAAS and how can you use it with VRO? Answer. This is a very open-ended query. Generally, XAAS, anything as a service, uses VRO workflows and you can create XAAS catalogs via using existing workflows in VRO, say adding Microsoft AD-based user to a group etc. via VR GUI web portal. However, the tracking of such requests does not take place. In order to do that, you need to create custom resources and if required custom actions and then use it via XAAS in order such requested items to be listed and tacked in request items. 